to this developing story that many people can't stop talking about. Dozens of wealthy families now facing fraud charges after reportedly trying to bribe Ivy League school and others into accepting their children. Yeah, among those accused are Hollywood actresses, famous attorneys, and CEOs. In all, the FBI says 50 people have been charged in the college admissions fraud scheme. And it's estimated that those 50 people paid roughly $25 million combined to try and get their kids into universities like Yale, Stanford, and UCLA. In one case, a parent paid $6.5 million to ensure their child was accepted. This is just crazy. It is, and in the middle of all of this fallout, there are plenty of questions about how they got away with this for so long. So Matt is in our newsroom breaking it down for us this morning. Matt, it's just crazier the more you read about this. Yeah, a lot of people still talking about this. In fact, it's the top story on several websites, including the Associated Press, ours at WTHR.com. And check this one out, breaking overnight from NBC News that says the person behind all this reportedly masterminded a cheating scandal and wore a wire to expose it. Now, that person, police say, is responsible, is not really that well known to you, unlike the celebrities apparently involved in all this. But this name in particular, William Singer, may not sound familiar to you, but it sure does to some 50 suspects and the FBI. That's because he ran a college prep business and just pled guilty, admitting that parents paid him millions of dollars to get students admitted as athletes, even though many never ever played a single sport. He's accused of photoshopping the faces of children onto pictures of actual athletes and even getting samples of students' handwriting. Singer is accused of then bribing coaches with hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now these eight universities, which claim they didn't know about this, are trying to clean up this mess and repair student morale. Changing my whole life to come here, doing all that work, and I don't know. It's weird to think that there are people on this campus that didn't have to do any of that and um, are still here. Now, court appearances are just now beginning here this morning, and that includes actress Felicity Huffman, who appeared in the Los Angeles courthouse just yesterday afternoon. And then there's also Lori Laughlin from Full House, also charged for her daughter Olivia Jade. Now, that name may sound familiar to teens. That's because she has a big social media presence. In fact, she has a new product that just launched with makeup retailer Sephora. Right now, there's an online petition for Sephora to pull all that product from their shelves. Just one aspect of this developing story will continue to follow. Ben? Yeah, I know she is catching a lot of heat on social media. Matt, thank you.